Okay, the length of a rectangle is the same as the length of each side of a square. The length of the rectangle is 4 centimetres more than 3 times the width of the rectangle. Uh, the area of the square is 66 centimetres more than the area of the rectangle. Right, okay, so we need to find the length and the width of the rectangle. Quite a lot of information there. I personally think a little diagram will help. So that's our rectangle, but we know the length is the same as a square. So that's the length. Let's put our square on there. So that's our square. That's our rectangle. Now, the length of the rectangle is 4 centimetres more than 3 times the width. So if we make the width x, this side here is going to be 3 times as more plus 4. So now actually we've got the dimensions of the square as well, so that'd be useful. Now the area of the square is 66 centimetres more than the area of the rectangle. So if we can compare the two areas, so the area of the rectangle is basically x times 3x plus 4. Now we can put them equal to each other, is equal to the area of the square, but the square is 66 more, so we need to take away 66 from that. So the area of the square is, uh, we've got the one dimension there, is that squared, don't forget to take away the 66. So now we've actually got an equation, we've got 3 x squared plus 4x. So all I'm doing is now going to just expand the brackets. Uh, that's 9x squared plus 24x, sorry. And then I've got uh, 4, 16. Uh, it's going to be a plus 16, so I can add it onto that. I actually end up with minus 50. So we've got x squared, uh, so it's got to equal to 0 before we can solve it. So 0, take away the 3, x squared, take away the 4, and we've still got the minus 50. Now, can I, I will divide that by 2, make it slightly easier to factorise. Always try and factorise, it is a lot quicker. I know a lot of you like using the formula. Um, so let's see what we can do. We've got 3x there, and we must have an x there. Uh, well, 25, it's going to be 5, so 10, so right, it's 5 and 5. We've got, uh, one of them's got to be negative, but this is positive. So if we make this one positive, this one negative, that gives us the minus 25, but it gives us the plus 10 as well. Put each one equal to 0, so we've got 3x equals 5, so x is 5 thirds or x equals minus 5. Right, okay, well it, x can't be minus 5 because it's a length. So x is 5 thirds. What are we actually answering? The length and the width of the rectangle. Make sure you always answer the actual question. So it is 5 over 3 and then we have to do this dimension here. So we need to do 3 times 5 over 3 plus 4. Okay, well, we end up with 9. So the dimensions are 9 centimetres and 5 thirds centimetres. Six marks. Okay, and we've shown all the steps there.